Victoria Hanscom, editor of Security Journal Americas, and I'm here at GSX 2024 in Orlando, Florida. And I'm speaking with Christine Schubert, Regional Sales Manager for Northeastern US and Eastern Canada at HID Fargo. Enjoy. So, Christine, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be here at GSX 2024 here in Orlando. Yeah, likewise. So, yes. uh, yeah, it'd be great if you could tell me a little bit about why you think GSX is so important to the security industry. Yes, absolutely. So there's a lot of reasons why you should be at GSX, but I think the main ones is going to be networking. So you're going to be able to network and collaborate with peers, new and existing customers, um, as well as security leaders in the industry. Um, you're also going to be able to walk this amazing show floor and see all of the great products that are here, latest and greatest things that are out to see for your organizations and then you're also going to be able to attend panel discussions, uh, networking events, presentations all around industry trends so that your organization can stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, so it'd be great if you could tell me a little bit about some of the solutions yes. that are a show that you have here. Yes, absolutely. So we just launched the HTP 5000E which is right here. This is our uh, new printer that replaced the HTP 5000. Um, we really just wanted to take something great and make it better. So this is something that we're super excited to have people just see it for the first time um, and commercially available. We also have our 6600, which is going to be more like our workhorse printer. Um, so you're going to be able to see that. This is more the everyday printer. We have our DTC 1500. That's going to be more economical, smaller footprint. Um, and then we have HID Element would be card service bureau work. So anything with millions of cards, it's our only inkjet printer that we offer. And then we have our cloud-based solution. So HID Fargo Connect, which you're going to be able to streamline the card printing process um, all within one streamlined issuance. So yeah, we're really excited to showcase all those today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so thinking a bit more broadly, what are some of the industry trends that we're seeing at the moment? Yes, that's a great question. So I think what we're seeing is a lot of movement towards the cloud and cloud-based printing. So people are moving away from dedicated um, standalone PCs and standalone workstations and they're moving to cloud-based printing. So if they're doing remote issuance, uh, remote printer diagnostics, looking at the print jobs, where they're going to and from, uh, consumable status, smart card management, all of that is going to be within the cloud. So we're very excited to have that. No drivers or downloads to install at all, which I think is a really, really exciting thing for people in this market just to help streamline those processes. Um, we're also seeing visual security elements in the card. So custom holograms, micro text, uh, UV fluorescent panel, um, really anything that's going to visually enhance the security of the card itself. Um, so we're seeing that and then we're also seeing a lot of printers being manufactured so HDB 5000E we're launching now but we also have other manufacturers and uh, competitors that are in the industry that are also uh, creating new and improved technology with their printers too. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So how will Fargo evolve in the next five years? Great question so I think people are always a little bit concerned about mobile taking over, especially in our industry when we're all about cards. Um, so I think what we're gonna see is a really nice hybrid approach between the two where you're gonna be able to issue a mobile as well as physical credential together. So I think we're gonna see a really nice approach to that here in the next five years or so. Um, another thing would be self-service workflows. So whether that's someone going and actually issuing the card themselves um, within like an actual kiosk or if they're going to go and pick it up um, from someone that's authorized to print the badge. So self-service options will absolutely be a, a trend that we'll be seeing. Um, and then I think we're also going to be seeing some things with AI. I don't know if that's going to be in hardware or software, but that is the talk of the town. So um, definitely probably something to come. I don't know what that's going to be, but really excited to see how that will integrate into our, our ID products. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Christine. Yes, thank you. to speak with you. Yes, thanks so much.